Hey guys, uh, sorry the lighting is um, real bad. Uh, I'm shooting this video at like 1.30 in the morning because I don't really have any other options. I don't have a ton of time since I'm going to start the process of moving to my new place. Uh, but that's not what we're here. Frozen 2, the much anticipated sequel to the 2013 movie Frozen. And much like Frozen, I neither love nor hate this film. Though I have two main problems with it. Much like the first one, Olaf and the ending. Because I really don't like Olaf and the ending is a deus ex machina. Like the first one. Alright, uh, quick side note. I don't like Olaf because I find him to be a very annoying, very, very annoyingly written character, if that makes any sense. He is the dope of the group. He is supposed to be the comic relief, but... For me, that doesn't work. To me, he very much comes across as like a character written very quickly. I don't know how to describe why he bothers me because it's hard for me to explain why he does. He just does. Uh, maybe it's honestly like how popular he is for how much of nothing he contributes to the plot. Actually, no, that's probably it. He contributes nothing. Nothing tangible to the plots of any of these films. He's just there. And that annoys me. Beside the point. But honestly, this movie's fun, especially if you're a little kid. I don't know what adults are gonna get out of this, but if you're a kid, the movie's fine. And so I think I would recommend it for a kid. But honestly, if you like the first one, you're probably gonna like this one. If you don't like the first Frozen, you're not gonna like this. That's what it comes down to. It's a sequel. So you probably already have your mind made up on whether or not you want to watch it. For me, I did think it was better than the first one, at least a little bit. So it, honestly, it more comes down to this one has more of like an actual plot with them trying to find out what happened and why the two lands got separated by that mist, as opposed to the first one, which is, oh, save the runaway person because she definitely can't take care of herself when she has magical ice powers. So by the point when Elsa does discover what truly happened, almost nothing else has actually occurred throughout the movie. Almost nothing happens for a majority of the film. Yeah, no, everything pretty much happens, like, that's actually consequent, consequ, consequent, consequ, consequential. There we go. To the plot happens in the last 45, 30 minutes of this hour and a half long movie. So why do we care about the other part? I, I don't know, by the time stuff actually happens, when the movie starts wrapping up, again, it's a deus ex machina ending because they find out what happened, they do the thing to stop it, and then the bad thing that thought was going to occur doesn't occur because they managed to stop it through the power of magic. Again, deus ex machina ending. So, there's not a ton for me to talk about with this movie. If you like Frozen, you're probably going to watch it. If you didn't like Frozen, you're probably not going to watch it. I'd say that this movie rolls a 13. Entertaining enough for if I was drunk or something, but not something that I'm going to actively seek out because it's really not made for me. While I personally like to analyze movies on whether or not they're a good movie overall, it's harder to do when it is a good movie, but it's made for kids. I honestly hope that Disney gets back to writing the story first and then focusing on whether or not they want the movie to be for kids. Because I love Disney. I grew up on it, but a lot of their movies that I watch for kids, adults can enjoy because they don't make it to be a kids movie. And that was, I thought, and that's what I think their power was. So, I would recommend it if you liked Frozen. If not, don't. But it's all I really have to say. So, sorry this one didn't get, like, super in-depth or anything. There's not a ton for me to say. You've probably already made up your mind on whether or not you want to watch it. But, yeah. That's all I really have to say, guys. Peace out.